Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all well and having a really great day so far. Today's video is a full face of Charlotte Tilbury and this is the green lights look from the Eye Colour Magic collection. I've used the green lights luxury palette and also the duo liner. So if you'd like to see how I put this look together, grab yourself a drink, subscribe if you haven't already and keep on watching. I'm starting with the Wonder Glow Face Primer and I'm going to apply that all over my face using this It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. And this feels really nice on the skin, it feels quite cooling and soothing. But it's just going to give a really nice natural glow from underneath the foundation. Next I'm going to go in with the Magic Foundation and mine's in the shade 3. If the Light Wonder Foundation doesn't quite give you the coverage that you're looking for but the Airbrush Flawless Finish is that bit too heavy then this one is a great option. And I'm just applying that with the same foundation brush. And I'm taking that down my neck and just onto my collarbone as well because you can probably tell that my um, body is a little bit lighter than my face. For concealer I'm using the Magic Away and this one's also in the shade 3. And I'm applying that directly to the under eye area. And just two areas that I want to bring a little bit more light and also a bit more coverage. I'm also going to bring it down onto my cheek a little bit just to cover some of the redness which is showing through from under the foundation. And then back in with the same foundation brush just to blend that out into the foundation. And I'm just using stippling motions with the brush, just to blend that out. And I'm going to set all of the base products with the Charlotte's Genius Magic Powder and this is in the shade Fair. I'm going to jump off camera to do my brows and then I'll be right back. I'm back and the brows are now filled in so we're ready to move on to eyes and the star of the show today is this Green Lights palette. This is from her Eye Colour Magic collection. I have done the other three looks from the collection which I will link in the description box below just in case you want to check them out. But this palette is also known as the Rebel so I think it is part of her permanent line. I'm really looking forward to trying this. I love the olivey green shades and this gold shade here looks beautiful. So let's get into eyes and I'll zoom you in so you can take a closer look. I'm going to start with the enhanced shade which is this beautiful shade here and I'm just going to take that through the crease. Next I'm going to take the prime shade from the inner corner and sweep that across the lid. And that is a really beautiful gold pigment. And I'm just feathering that across into the first shade that we put down. But I really like the pop of gold that that's giving the eye. 
I'm then going to take the pop shade and I'm just going to apply that to the centre of the lid to blend those first two colours together. And I'm just applying that using my finger. And with a clean fluffy brush I'm just going to soften the edges of the eyeshadow. If you've gone a bit too heavy handed at this point you could add a little bit of translucent powder to the brush just to help feather out those edges. For eyeliner I'm using the Duo Liner in Green Lights. This is also part of the Eye Colour Magic Collection. It has two sides so there is a matte side on this end and also a metallic side. I'm going to be using the metallic side on the lower lash line and the matte side across the top. So going in with the metallic side first I'm just going to line my waterline. And I also want to take that down a little bit lower into the lower lash line. And that is a really beautiful green. I'm just bringing that up. And then across the top with the matte side of the pencil. As usual I'm going to jump off camera to apply mascara and lashes but the mascara that I'm using today is the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. This is my favourite Charlotte Tilbury mascara. So eyes are now finished. The lashes that I've used today are the Ardell Wispies but I will zoom you in so you can take a closer look at the finished eye makeup. And I have to say, I do really like it. I'm getting quite into using green eyeshadow, especially olivey tones, and I love the pop of gold um, on the lid as well. So now we need to finish off complexion, and for bronzer today, I'm using the one from the Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette. This is a really nice bronzer if you've got light to medium skin. And I'm just applying that to the high points of my face and into my temples. This bronzer has a really nice tone to it and actually I think that I prefer it to the airbrush bronzer. And I'm also using the highlight from that palette and I'm just applying that with this fan brush from Spectrum Cosmetics. I just think that it gives a softer, more diffused look. And I'm also just going to apply some to the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose and also my cupid's bow. And I'm just softening that with the brush. For blush today I'm using the Cheek to Chic in the shade Ecstasy. This is one of my very favourite blushes, it's just this beautiful peachy tone and I think that it's going to really complement the rest of the makeup. So I'm just applying that and blending it into the bronzer and the highlight. Just bring in the excess onto my nose, just to warm that part of my face. For lips today, I'm going to be using the Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude and also the Hot Lips 2 lipstick in the shade JK Magic. This is another one of my favourite lip combos.
And I'm also going to finish the lips by adding a little bit of gloss. This is the Lip Luster in the shade Blonde. It's a really beautiful gloss and it's got a gorgeous shimmery reflect to it. And finally, I'm going to set the makeup with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. If you are looking for a new setting spray, then I would highly recommend this one. I have noticed a big difference in how long my makeup lasts for, um, and I think that it just keeps everything in place. So guys, this is the finished makeup look using the Green Lights palette and I do really like it. As I said, I'm really enjoying using green and gold tones on the eye and I love pairing it with a nude lip. But as usual, I will link all of the products that I've used in today's video in the description box below. I really hope that you've enjoyed it today. If you did, please let me know by giving the video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I would love to have you back. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Enjoy the rest of your day.